But first tonight, the first bus full of migrants sent by Texas Governor Greg Abbott arriving in D.C. today. And there are more to come. Fox News Jacqueline Matter is live outside of Union Station tonight with more on what's behind this move. Jacqueline? Rob Marina, this move is part of the governor of Texas's response to the Biden administration's decision to end Title 42, which had been used to turn away migrants at the border due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Governor Abbott says because of its reversal, he's expecting to see an influx of migrants at the U.S. border there in Texas. Now, some of the migrants that arrived here today at Union Station, they were coming from places like Colombia, Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua. The charter buses paid for Union using security funding from the Texas Division of Emergency Management for these buses that arrived here full of the migrants. The governor's office has clarified, though, that this program was completely voluntary and would only happen after they had been processed and released by the Department of Homeland Security. Governor Abbott also saying in a statement that by busing migrants to D.C., the Biden administration can more immediately meet the needs of the people they are allowing to cross the border. Meanwhile, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki previously calling the move all a publicity stunt. And today she was asked if that was still the view of the White House. Well, these are all migrants who have been processed by CBP and are free to travel. So it's nice the state of Texas is helping them get to their final destination as they await in their, their outcome of their immigration proceedings. And they're all in immigration proceedings. As these migrants arrived today following a more than 30-hour bus ride, local and national organizations like Catholic Charities and CASA were on hand to provide information and care kits for them. CASA says they'll be working to help migrants who want to go elsewhere, get in contact with their families. And for those that want to stay here in the DMV, they'll work to acclimate them to their new life here in the city. People come here seeking protection all the time, and CASA is ready to receive um, people uh, seeking protection whenever they arrive. We celebrate this moment because we are showing the country, we will show the country how to receive, how to celebrate, and how to embrace the immigrant community, especially those who are coming here with serious asylum claims. Now, CASA tells me they spoke to D.C. officials tonight who say the next bus of migrants expected here at Union Station tomorrow between 2 and 4 p.m. Now, we did reach out to the D.C. mayor's office as well as other D.C. lawmakers to confirm that as well as ask them for a statement or their reaction on these migrants arriving here in the district. But we have yet to hear back. Back to you.